Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another video. Today I will be creating four different gift cards for the holidays and um, this is actually part of a blog hop as we celebrate the September release by Studio Katia. So make sure to visit my blog and find all about the blog hop, join us for lots of inspiration and lots of giveaways. For all my holiday gift tags, I will be using the same die and the same stamp set. So this is the Holiday Village stamp set by Studio Katia from the latest release with lots of houses and many sentiments. And this is the shaker tag. So I'm going to separate those so I can use them and run them through my big shot. I die cut two tags, one blue and one white, and on the white one, as you can see, I have placed the inside die as well. Now, I end up having uh, this lovely window. For this tag, I don't want to have this uh, middle piece, so I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors. This is going to be the top part of my shaker tag, so at the back, I'm going to add some double-sided tape all around that window, and then I'm going to peel it off and stick there my acetate. Now this die is very versatile because you can use it all year round to create gift tags and uh, you don't really need to make uh, shaker cards. You will see that I am going to share today four examples. Two of them are going to be shaker cards and the other two are not. Now before I go ahead and put everything together, I need to stamp uh, the sentiment at this stage because before I add too much bulk. So I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments from the stamp set that says holiday wishes. And now I'm using my foam tape and I'll go all around that window at the back, making sure that I don't leave any gaps, otherwise my shaker mix is going to fly away. I have stamped three of the buildings from the Holiday Village stamp set and now I'm using my alcohol markers to color everything. I am actually using my Nouveau markers here, but of course you can use your favorite coloring medium. I did some very basic coloring here, didn't add too much detail, and once everything was ready, I used the matching dies to cut them out. Now, I am going to give a try to a new glue to me, which is by Studio Katia. This is a white glue in a pen with a very fine tip. I like that you don't have to push too hard to squeeze uh, the glue out of this uh, pen. And um, it actually bonds nicely and it dries really quickly. So I'm going to put everything together here. Now this design doesn't uh, shout Christmas, so it can be used for other occasions such as a winter birthday for example. So depending on the sentiment that you stamp, it can be used for more occasions. As a shaker element, I'm going to add uh, Studio Katia iridescent ice flakes. These are really gorgeous, they are so shiny and they look like flakes. So they are going to make my snow actually. But I wanted to add some uh, random dots all over the place at the background. And I'm just using my fine Posca pen here. And then I can place the window on top. You can use the opening at the top of this tag to thread some ribbon or a string and your tag is ready. Now I die cut uh, the tag twice and I'm going to chop off uh, this white part here which is going to be a snow bank but at the same time I ended up having a lovely stitching since the tie has a stitching all around. Now I'm going to stick this at the very bottom of my tag and it's going to turn into a snow bank. Now for embellishing my little tag I have already stamped from the same stamp set three trees and one of the houses and I'm going to color everything in using my Nouveau alcohol markers. Again you can use any of your favorite mediums to do so. And once everything was ready I used the matching dies to cut them out. Now it's time to put everything together. I'm using glue for some of the die cuts, just like the tree, so they, are, they lay completely flat on the tag, but I want to have some dimension for the house, so I added a foam square at the top, and now it is nicely leveled with the snow. Now for the rest of the trees, again I'm going to use uh, glue, and I'm going to stick them directly on top of the tag, so I end up having a little bit of dimension. Now I want to have some snow at the background and I'm using one of the stamps from this stamp set again that has a bunch of uh, little snowflakes. I'm using uh, white ink to do so. Of course you can white emboss them if you want to have them more um, vibrant. 
and then I can go ahead and stick my sentiment that I have already stamped and it says winter wishes. And on all the tags that I am creating today you have an empty bag where you can write there your from and to before you hand it out with your gift. Now let's make another shaker card, again I used the same process as I did for the first card but this time I used this white glitter paper as well as red for the backing. I am going to stamp holiday wishes at the center of my tag. This is uh, stamped with Versa marking and then I'm going to apply white embossing powder and heat set it. And this is the perfect mix for all your Christmas shaker projects. It's by Studio Katia and uh, it's their Christmas confetti. I'm going to stick those pieces together making sure that they are nicely stuck and my shaker tag is ready. All I need to do is to embellish it a little bit more. I'm adding some red ribbon and I'm also going to wrap it around with uh, this um, floss and I'm adding also a little uh, gold jingle bell. Now just like I did for the second tag, I did cut out a piece for the snow and my tag is actually made out of craft cardstock. Now I am chopping one of the sentiments, I really don't mind cutting out the sentiments, this way I can place them in any way I like, so here instead of having it in a straight line, I can uh, place it in three different lines and it can fit my tag. You don't have to cut out your uh, stamps if you don't want to, but uh, it gives you more flexibility. So I am stamping my sentiment with Versa marking and on the other piece of uh, craft cardstock I'm going to stamp one of the houses from the stamp set. I am then going to apply white embossing powder and heat set everything. I used the matching die to cut out the little house and now again I'm using the snow from the stamp set to add lots of snow at my background. The white thing that I'm using is by Color Box and um, it's called Frost White. You will find it linked down below along with all the rest of the supplies that I'm using today. It is a pigment ink though, so you need to make sure that you don't smudge anything. It takes a while to dry. And now my snowbank is in place, I'm going to stick the house as well by using some uh, foam tape at the back. And I really love this uh, color combination of white and craft for winter projects, it really is uh, so clean and simple. Now to embellish it a little bit more and to add some shine on my project, I'm going to add three of the iridescent flakes. And I am going to complete my tag by threading some uh, very thin white ribbon through the hole and I am also going to tie a bow with this string. And that completes the fourth tag for today and here are some close-up photos on the tag. Don't forget that this is part of a blog hop so join us to win lots of giveaways. And here is a photo of all the four tags together. I hope this video was helpful to inspire you and create different gift tags by using one die set and one stamp set. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.